My name is Kelvin and today we'll be talking about how to prepare for um, anatomy second MBBS examination. So the practicals, basically the practicals. So the practicals you will, enc will encompass all the divisions of anatomy. So you're going to have um, your gross, that's your gross and osteology, the bones and neuroanatomy in the dissection room and then you're going to also have your histology your embryo and your clinical demonstration in the histology lab so you have like you have about 160 spots and there will be resting spots too so what will happen is that some people those that will start at the dissection room some will start there and then some will start at the histology the same so by those by the time those are finished those that are finishing from dissection room are going to the histology lab and um, those guys from histology lab are going to the dissection room so that's how it's going to be on that day so um for the histology it's going to be basically um slides under the microscope so um, most of these slides have already been snapped so it's going to be very wise for you to have to get them and go through them so um before for me i i went i used to go through them maybe like five fifteen minutes per day out there in my phone so i just go through them go through them go through them in 15 minutes every day so um the basic thing that we're expecting you to do is to be able to identify slides so you should be able to identify tendons you should be able to identify muscles skeletal muscles um cardiac muscles smooth muscles you should be able to identify the testes the bladder you should be able to identify the bronchus the uterus you should be able to identify um, the eyes you should be able to identify um epithelia there's going to be a lot of epithelia stratified simple columnar ciliated there's going to be transitional epithelium of the bladder so there's going to be a lot of epithelia too so the idea is for you to be able to identify them and then sometimes they will put an arrow so you're going to when when you, when you view this other slide under the microscope you're going to see an arrow pointing to a structure for you to maybe um to maybe um say more about so usually they could point um, mucosa, the mucosa full, the submucosa, they could point um, muscles, maybe longitudinal muscle, that's like maybe if it's along the GI, if it's like from the GI, longitudinal muscles, um, circular smooth muscles, they could point the lumen and they're expecting you to say, okay, this is the lumen of so so so. Then they could, if it's for eye, sometimes if they bring eye, the eye has layers, they could ask you for the different layers, the sclera the choroid, the rods and the cones so just but basically just be able to identify it but then be expecting all these little little questions like that so that's more or less um the histology then in that same histo lab you're going to have an um, embryo and the embryo will be those models those models in the museum so um forget about those other clear ones focus on those beautiful models so the models there would be um, mitosis and meiosis, um, all those their yeah, phases, especially those pachytean, um, diplotin, and and the meaning. Those are places that usually ask because sometimes it gets students confused. Then they would ask you about um, the placenta. They have the placenta. They have even um, the section that the slide, the model that shows the formation of the villus, the villi system. So um, the primary villa, they have it, the secondary, the tertiary, and they love to bring questions from those places. They could actually have the uterus where there's um, ovulation and then the oocyte, the, the sperm, fertilization. They, they, they could ask specific spots there. Then they could also ask, they have a sperm model, they could ask about the parts of the, the sperm. They could also um, bring... Um, um, congenital abnormalities like hydrocephalus and some other congenital abnormalities so be watchful for that they could also bring um, formation of the heart formation of the kidneys they could bring formation of the yolk sac they could that's you're supposed to know them all those the two um lamina dicks the yolk sac they even even those um, trophoblasts since you show trophoblasts them they would bring it and just point at it and ask they also bring all these placenta previa. They love to bring it. I think I can remember. I could remember like answering like two of them, or even more than two. Then um, even maybe um, embryonic folding too. They love to bring it. So basically, it's going to be those models. And once you know the models, once you can play with those toys, you won't have any problem. So 
it's just basically going to be those toys that it's not going to be outside of anything else and this is going to be those models and once you know them you're good to go once you know them at least on a basic level there are pictures for those two that have been snapped so you can go through them and for the clinical demonstration what they do is that they are going to bring x-rays they're going to bring x-rays of fractures maybe fractures of the humerus fractures of long bones usually sometimes maybe they could bring fracture of them of um, the bones of the of the foot maybe navicular or fractures of the hand then sometimes the x-rays they could bring x-ray on them um, they give you an x-ray and they're expecting you to be able to identify a structure maybe the c the c -com or one of those viscera, especially abdominal viscera so and um, the x-rays will not be hard do not be hard it's just for it once you are good at your normal anatomy you'll be able to get the x-ray so when